So today we're going to look at the signed limited editions of Salem's Lot, and we're going to start with the Centipede Press uh, signed limited edition. Um, this one is one of 300 signed copies. There was also a Roman numeral state, um, which is uh, much nicer, and uh, I don't own it, so sadly you're going to only get to look at this one. Um, it is a, a lovely oversized book um, with a piece of artwork laid on top of the uh, front cover. The inside has uh, the end papers have a nice illustration and the paper stock is really, really thick. Um, it's also illustrated with black and white full page uh, photos, illustrations. Let's find another one. There's another one. Oops, sorry. There we go. Uh, and the limitation page is in the back. Um, so as you can see, it's one of 300. Um, oops. Uh, and this was not, um, no, this was signed by King, my fault, signed by King. Um, and one of, of 300 uh, black letter, uh, black numbered copies. Okay, so in 2015, Cemetery Dance published a signed limited edition, another signed limited edition of the book. Um, honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of limiteds of limiteds, where there's already been a limited and then another press does a limited. Um, I feel like if a large press does a limited and then a small press does a better job, great, but if a small press has done one, why? Uh, so, um, Centipede had already done a signed limited of the book. Uh, CD then followed up with this one. I'm a sucker. I pay the money, but um, I just don't get it. Uh, anyway, this was done in 2015. Um, this is the numbered state. Uh, it was also done in a, a 52 copy artist's lettered state, um, not signed by King. Uh, but this one is one of 750. Um, it's a very lovely uh, black, dark gray uh, tray case for the numbered. Um, the book itself has really nice um, semi wrap around artwork uh, and on the jacket, rather, and then f uh, fully illustrated end papers. Um, the signature page is in the front. None of these were signed by King. So it's only signed by the artists, um, and again, is one of 750. Uh, and then the book is is illustrated with full color plates tipped in. Uh, I'll show you a couple. There's another one. Um, and let's take a peek at the book. So the book is bound in um, sort of gray leather that matches the uh, tray case. Um, so again, uh, none of these were signed by King, um, and it's a it's a it's a uh, limited of a limited or a second you know second edition if you will, limited. Uh, so um, it's great, it's nice. Was it necessary in my opinion? Probably not. Um, and then a third, uh, a third limited edition is coming up. Okay, so finally, um, PS Books in the UK did a, another signed limited edition of the book. Uh, after um, Centipede, uh, Centipede and Cemetery Dance, um, this is the numbered state. It was published in a illustrated slipcase. Um, and it was uh, done in a, in a print run of 974. Um, if you add the 26 lettered ones, you get a thousand books altogether. Uh, what's kind of cool about this one is they split the book up into three volumes. It's not a long book, so why they did that is uh, a mystery to me, but I still kind of dig the fact that it's three different volumes. The book has three parts, so each, uh, each of these is titled um, uh, by the part the part of the book that it, that it is. And what's also cool is the inside uh, end papers um, 
are all the various covers of the novel um, throughout the years, which is also pretty pretty cool and badass. And uh, I think there also may be some movie posters in here and whatnot, but um, that that is neat. So the, the design and layout of this is cool. Um, there are interior illustrations and uh, the signature sheet, uh, it's protected by a piece of cloth, so it's hard to really see, but it's it's signed by the artist and it's one of 974, um, not signed by Stephen King. That brings us to the lettered state. Uh, this is the lettered state, um, one of 26, so it's bound in a really nice um, grayish blue tray case. It's got a silver foil stamped illustration on the front red and silver foil title and author's name and then the copy is also stamped to the front um, so that's h of 26 and uh stamping to the spine um let's take a peek there's also it comes with uh a small book of the artwork like all the artwork in this and then each copy comes with its own piece of uh individual artwork that's this one um, and the book itself, let's get it out, uh, the book itself, hold on, is this. Uh, so again, the individual letter is printed on the jacket. Um, it's got really nice full color end papers. And this state is the only state um, of any signed limited edition of the book other than Centipede. That's signed by Stephen King. Uh, and then you can see it's one of 26, and the letter, again, is printed at the bottom. So um, uh, did I show you the cover? Oh, yeah, so the, co the cover matches the, uh, the tray case. Um, so that's a peek at the lettered state. Um, so there's a lot, you know, a lot of li uh, limited editions of the book, and that pretty much sums up the collectible signed limited editions of... Salem's Lot.